What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically count conditionally formatted cells. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got country data. And let's go ahead and add some conditional formatting. So for this area here, let's go with anything less than 1 million. We'll do a light red for area. Let's do anything less than a hundred thousand. Light red population density. Anything greater than one hundred. Um, coastline, not worried about that. Net migration, let's do anything less than zero. Literacy, anything less than 70. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. And let's go ahead and get into our code. So we'll call this sub count uh, conditional cells and we'll declare our variables we've got RNG as range we've got RNG cell as range and by the way this code was adapted um, from website in the description make sure to check it out We've got a uh, row count as an integer. Conditional count as an integer. And then let's declare our worksheet as a worksheet. So now let's set worksheet equal to this workbook. sheets and the sheet name is sheet one and then we're going to activate the worksheet so ws.activate um, and now let's go ahead and count our rows so we'll be counting down from a1 so we'll use the worksheet function Count the range is going to be A1 where we're starting. And obviously, we don't need to count um, for this small set, but if you had a million rows or 100 rows or whatever, you'd want to use something to automatically count the rows regardless of whatever the actual count is so you don't have to manually count. So we'll just get into the habit of automatically counting the rows instead of manually counting them. And we're gonna have range one, A1. And then end XL down because we're counting down. And then let's set our range, RNG, equal to our worksheet. And the range we're gonna use is A2. So we're gonna start at A2 and we're going to go to J, so J, and then quotation, and we want the bottom rightmost cell, which is going to be whatever number comes up for our row count. So this is saying that this range starts here at A2, and it's going to come all the way over to J and down to the lowest cell. And now for each RNG cell, so each, so we declare that up here, RNG cells a range. Oops, let me change that. So for each um, RNG cell row, RNG cell column. 
sorry I'm doing this wrong so far for each RNG cell in RNG and then we'll do next so inside of that we're gonna have our if statement and so we're gonna use cells RNG cell row RNG cell column and then we want the display format and in order to continue with this line we'll use an underscore so if the interior color sorry I cannot spell today interior color is equal to RG, RGB um, so this particular color here is going to be uh 255 199 206 i believe yeah that's the color okay so for rgb we've got 255, 199, 206. Then conditional count is going to equal conditional count plus one. And what we should do here is set our conditional count equal to zero. Okay, so now let's go review the code. So at this point here, we have a for loop. So for each cell in this range, we're just gonna be going through each cell and checking to see if the interior color is this red that we're looking for. And if that happens, we're going to increase the conditional count value that we're using, the conditional uh, count variable. So let's try it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing it today, you guys. So we need to use a message box or something to let us know what conditional count becomes, right, at the end of, the, of our um, macro. So let's say message box conditional count. So we just know what, we, what we're looking at here. So 13 is the number. So is that right? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there we go. And what we can do to make this work a little better, so if we do if conditional count is equal to 0, then we'll have a message box that says there are no conditionally for matted cells and we can keep going so else if conditional count is equal to one then sorry this should be there should be no space in between if conditional count is equal to one then message box there is one conditionally formatted cell otherwise or else we'll say I'm sorry there does not need to be an equal sign here We'll say there are space ampersand and then we'll have whatever number that is so if it's greater than one we'll have two three four or five or whatever we'll have the number space conditionally formatted cells and then we can end our if 
All right. So let's run this again. There are 13 conditionally formatted cells. And let's say we want to look at column B. We'll change this to B and then B. And we'd expect the, there to be one. So let's run it for that. There is one conditionally formatted cell. Let's move over, on over to A. So if we did A, boom, there are no conditionally formatted cells. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.